I have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and belief. Know what I want, so I'll take it on. I've made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong. Let's break it down for a minute. I want the crowd. Back up. Back up. Yes. Good boy. And I'm closing in the night pit And there ain't no point in resisting Living life like a dream Baby, right, that's the thing Every night got a team I've been tied to the same Well, I'm waiting on my nurse My nurse is about to be here to try to set an IV So, I've got to go through it And try to get everything ready So In the top door I usually pull out Three of the 24 gauge needles And then we have my grip lock here, if we can get one set. Anything else in that bag? Nope. Go ahead and set those down and grab the rest. So next we gotta get an IV extension. Um, I'm just gonna pull out one of those for now. And then I'm gonna pull out some gauze and alcohol pads if I can get to them. Okay, got the alcohol pads. I'm gonna grab a thing of Coban. I'm going to grab a Kuro in case we're able to get IV set. I'll need that to lock it. going to get some saline flushes. I'm going to go ahead and grab out three of them. And if we get the IV set and I'm able to leave it in, I'll need a heparin flush. So I'm going to grab that too. So, bring it over here. We're going to set down all of that right here and go back and grab the rest. Moving on to my second drawer. We're going to pull out this bag. We are going to get a sterile drape so we can try to prevent blood from going everywhere because that always happens. If we're able to get an IV set, I will need one of my gauze sleeves to cover the IV if I'm able to leave it in. I have extra gloves in here. We don't need that because these come with a pack of gloves, so this is my IV start kit. And then we're going to grab flow regulator IV set. Put that back in that door and we're going to bring this stuff over. So, throwing all that down, we're going to go back again. In the bottom door, we've got all my saline bags. So we're going to grab a saline bag if we're able to get the IV set. And we're going to bring the saline bag over here and set it down. So, now I've got to try cleaning the table up a little bit more. Okay, so I've got some hand sanitizer, got my sharps box for the needles, sterile drape that we'll lay down first, the IV start kit, so this has got the gloves, the tourniquet, um, the chlorine prep, and alcohol prep, and the tegaderm, and all that stuff to start the IV. Um, we have multiple IVs out because most of the time it takes multiple pricks. We use 24 gauges trying not to blow my veins out. But here lately it hasn't worked very well. So we have extra gauze out because when the it doesn't work, obviously we can have gauze to be able to put over the wound. Extra alcohol pads, the extension which hooks up to the needle, and then the other end hooks up to the flow regulator set that hooks up to the saline bag. Grip lock, so once the needle is in place, with the flow regulator on it. So the flow regulator will be attached. And then this part of the flow regulator will be secured in this with this taped to my arm uh, to keep it from moving. There's a, uh oh, where'd it go? The Kuros here goes on the end of the extension to cap it off and keep it sealed when not in use. Um, let's see. 
This is just a gauze cover that goes over all of that when it's in my arm, at when not in use. Coban to wrap my arm, whether it's because it didn't go in and we have to put gauze over something, or whether we're wrapping to keep the IV set. We've got three saline flushes out. Sometimes we go through more, um, trying to get it in or half to flush it in, and then we have the heparin flush as well. So this is a blood thinner. This is to keep the extension um, from clotting while the IV and stuff is in my arm. So now we just wait for her to get here. Perfect. I feel like uh, we should start using my thermometer when you come over. <laughs> Mine's so much faster. Oh, is it? Uh, <laughs> you know, I, yeah, I bought that one thinking. It would be faster yeah. than the other one because the other one was slow. Yeah, it's, I think it's even slower. I think it might be, honestly. <laughs> we can use yours. Okay, I think that's so funny. I think we just got ours from like a CVS or Walgreens, too. Really? Mm -hmm. It's as accurate as it used to be. I think my other thermometer, I think it's still in the bedroom because I had it out last night. I kept feeling like I was running a fever last night. But um, it's just like a white one. It came from like CVS or Walgreens. But you weren't running a fever? Mm -hmm, I wasn't, but I kept waking up like feeling feverish, feeling hot, and just like almost sweating. And I had my fan on, like blowing on me, and like I was kicking the blankets off. And, <laughs> and then I started having bad dreams. I like woke up screaming at one point and like woke Austin up scaring the crap out of him. I bet. <laughs> and then I had a dream, another dream that like that one was some kind of like Harry Potter, Hogwarts, and Voldemort coming after me type dream. I don't even know if you're familiar with it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I remember so, that. It, it, was, it was, like, really weird, like that. Like, I had a wand, and then the wand disappeared, and then, like, this dark energy. It was like Voldemort was coming after me. Oh, no. And then, I don't know, I woke up screaming from it, and then I had another dream that I was pregnant with twins, but I didn't realize it. I went into labor, and it came out, and it was a girl. And they're like, oh, it's a girl. And I'm like, no, that's wrong. It was a boy. And then, like, 20 minutes go by, and they're like, oh, there's another one. And oh the second one gets born, and it's a boy. And I'm like, what am I doing with twins? Like, I'm sitting there trying to, like, in my dream, I'm trying to breastfeed two babies at the same oh time. And, like, having a panic attack. And Austin's calling me. He's like, I'm on my way to the hospital right now. I'm like, you're too late. <laughs> you didn't make it in time. Oh, no. And he gets there, he's like, wait, why do you have two babies? And I'm like, one was hiding in my uterus? I don't know. It was a really weird dream. You're just it's stressed. You're just I think worried and... I think it is. Alright. Oh, it's popped up pretty good. It looks better than it did. Not so sure. Maybe the heating pad does work. Yeah. We'll have to try that and then uh, keep using it. Every time I'll just yeah. come bring it with me. And... I'm not going to lie, I forgot about the appointment today. You did? I forgot that was today. I wasn't even thinking about it until you texted me. I was in the middle of feeding all the animals. Well, I didn't, when did we make it? Thir uh, we did make it. It's been a couple of days. I didn't, because I, I didn't work yeah, yesterday. Yeah, I just didn't write it down on my calendar. Yeah. And I always write it down, so that's why I didn't think about it, because I always write it down. But um, I was feeding the animals and recording me feeding the animals so I could do a filler video of me feeding all my animals. Because mm -hmm. I have, you know, my tortoise and my snake now. And so, oh, yeah, because y'all were going that night that I mm -hmm. wrapped it on that day that I was here. You got a turtle and a snake? What yeah. kind of snake? It's a corn snake. Oh. Okay, that felt like it actually went in. Okay, good. It didn't hurt like it. Sometimes they hurt really, really bad, and you can just tell that they don't go in. But that one, I don't know, it didn't hurt as bad. Get it on the first hit today? Yeah. Yay. That hasn't happened in a minute. <laughs> I know. That thing was looking pretty good. Yeah, we haven't used that one. I think it's been about a month it's, because it was looking. <laughs> it's recovered. <laughs> yeah, it was looking. So, I mean, it still looks rough looking at it, but we've given it such a break. Mm -hmm. I smell and I taste it too. Okay, good. The same as flesh.
I do like a Victor dance today. <laughs> I put out like three saline flushes, you know, extra gauze, you know, extra IV needles, just because I, oh, I yeah, know I half that. the time we go through all of it, so instead of having to get up to keep grabbing it, I was like, I'm just going to set all of this out. Because sometimes we go through three needles or, you know, multiple pieces of gauze and, you know, multiple saline flushes trying to get it in. So I was like, I'm just going to, I've been setting it all out for it lately. Well, it's better to have and not need mm -hmm. than to need and not have. Yeah. I tell my son he's a Boy Scout. I'm so happy right now. I just, right, I wish have... that vein would go higher or lower. Use this. Like when it bulges out really good, I wish it would be up higher or lower, but it never does. Yeah, it's not an awful spot though. It could be worse. Let's put this on. I'm just not gonna move it. That's what I do whenever we access that vein. I just don't move my arm. Move I just leave it alone. Like I do my best not to move that arm. Like I make Austin open everything for me. I'm just like I can't do it because if I move this arm, you like I don't want to ruin it. I yeah. don't. Yeah, I don't want it to infiltrate or blow the vein somehow with it being in the crease of my arm because I don't know my veins are dumb <laughs> <laughs> that's all I know to say is my veins are dumb where is it my mind is she crying she is I, she's looking out the window she wants to go play with one of the other dogs down there oh yeah her best friend, he's this husky, his name's Floyd. It's my best friend. Floyd. That's yeah. so cute. Paint Floyd. <laughs> um, he's a beautiful husky, but my friend Haley, um, she lives down there. Husky's her dog. He's huge, too. And he's still a puppy, but they come up and they'll run around up here together and play. And so she'll sit there whenever I open those blinds. She just stares out the window looking at the house, like, waiting for Floyd to pop up outside or something. It's so funny. One of my patients the other day had a great dane named Marge. Oh. <laughs> they called her Large Marge. That's cute. <laughs> Large Marge. That's cute. You were saying something about, like, the when I had the thermometer in my mouth about uh, black muzzled dogs and yeah. Max being cute. Max is cute in an old man way. Like, that, that beard and... All of that. He's cute in this old man dog type way. Yeah. And then, I don't know. Something about the black and muzzles. I, like, I feel like, about it, I feel like the, it, somehow the dogs have more expression to their faces because of the different contrast. What, Paul? Let's leave yes. it. I'm not going to do all this yet. Let's make sure it's going to flow well. Thank you. Okay. Um, they sent me a whole bunch of Coban, too, because I did my order, and I told them I needed extra of, like, all of the these supplies. And oh, so okay. they sent me a small box that was packed full of all the small stuff. And I've got, like, five things of Coban, I think, now. So, oh, okay. Because well, I told them, I think the la one of the last times, we went through an entire roll of Coban in one visit. Yeah. Because we had different... Trying to, um... Yeah, because the veins weren't holding, and I kept blowing out, and we had to keep wrapping, like, ga gauze around. Yeah. And so we, and I told her, I was like, we went through, like, an entire roll of Coban in one visit. Can you send extra, please? And so she sent, like, five things of Coban. And I'm just All like, right. I probably won't need that for a while, I hope. I'm so happy right now about food. Especially because, like, this past week I didn't know to drink much and hold it down. Were you, are you still drinking those, um... Yeah, the uh, liquid IVs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's expensive though, isn't it? It is. Austin spent fifty dollars on, I think thirty of them, roughly yeah, thirty-two, something like that. They're not too, because I think they come in a bag of like, what is it? It's a bag of like sixteen. And some days I've been drinking them like twice a day. Yeah, it's a bag. These. How many come in this? I think it's like 18. Oh. 16. It's 16 okay. that come in these. And we got them on Amazon because they were on sale on Amazon. Mm -hmm. And, um, but between the two bags that we ordered, it was, I think it was right under $50. Good grief. But Austin, I mean, we haven't been able to get the IV either. So Austin was like, I'm just gonna, like, get these so that at least you can try to like stay a little more hydrated so 
They've been helping some when I was able to hold them down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, I hate that you were sick. I don't know what it was in UAB when I was at the ER, you know, they didn't say anything about... The vomiting? I mean, well, you know, they gave me a bunch of medicine and stuff to take, but they didn't say I was sick. You know, they tested me for, like, everything. They just thought it was, they just attributed it to the pregnancy. The pregnancy and the dysautonomia, yeah. Because, uh, one of them said something about how, like, well, doesn't dysautonomia cause nausea? I was like, it can, yes. And they were like, I'm just going to say it's just your hypermesis with the pregnancy coming back. And if your dysautonomia has been worse, then right, it gonna, might just be them mixing together. I'm going to put this, instead of open, let's put it down to like 250. Two, okay, two and fifty. just run it slower. I mean, that's still pretty fast, but... You might be right. Because I think the last couple of times... Um, they weren't running. I don't, I don't think they were running super fast, but I didn't turn them down either because I've never had to do that. But my because usually it's the other problem. The problem is getting it to go in. Yeah, but maybe maybe faster. my and here lately it's just it hasn't. My veins haven't been wanting to hold it in. Yeah. Either so like I'd get through like a bag or a bag and a half, and then it wouldn't. I wouldn't be able to keep oh, running it. Like so maybe maybe my veins are just too like. Damage? I don't know. <laughs> maybe they do. Just well, they're it. just tiny, so maybe yeah. the maybe the pressure is just too much. Maya, what are you doing? Uh, I'm silly girl. Sit. Good girl. Go with all kinds of doggy. Every patient I've oh, had today, yeah. had, she, <laughs> she almost just, grabbed my She gloves. did. Maya. <laughs> hey. hey. No, don't not, you do it. Not that. Maya, sit. You're getting play for it now. That was kind of <laughs> What is it about the glove? Silly girl. I wish she was in view of the camera. Okay, now you're in uh -huh, view no, of the camera. No, don't you dare okay. mess up our IV. Ah, that's it. Settle. Okay, okay good girl. Crossed. Up, up. Up, up. Come on, up, up. Well, it's dripping. It's going well. Let's see. Me. Yeah, let's keep it at 250. Okay. Because that's still pretty. Okay. And just see if it, maybe you can get two bags in. Yeah. Well, that works. I'm so happy. So how long <laughs> is it? Okay, it's been like what, the past month that we've been struggling with my veins? A little over yeah. the past month? I think so. And I'm supposed, to, I'm supposed to get six liters a week. And the past month, I don't happened. even, I don't even think I've gotten six liters in the past month. Mm -mm. And so, today, she brought in the heating pad, and we, my vein popped out better. We've got it set, so I'm just going to, like, keep this arm, like, immobile. Let me get it wrapped. Yeah, we're going to wrap it. So, I showed you guys the supplies when I was getting it all out earlier. And so, what she's going to do is she'll wrap it in Coban. And then we'll put the gauze sleeve over that when, um, I'll probably wait until I'm done with all this after I tape it off to keep it out of the way. But this is the grip lock that helps hold the IV in place so it doesn't slip as much. Okay. Do you care how it's... Mm -mm. You have one open, or just open this one? I'll just open that one. Maya, Maya. I don't know what it was about your glove, but she saw it. She I said, know. that's a toy. That was kind of funny. She has though. never done that before. Mm -hmm. It was kind of funny. It was kind of cute. I had to stop it. Like, it, I was kind of like, I was enjoying it for a minute, and then I thought about it. I was like, okay, we need to like just stop this behavior now because <laughs> you can't be doing this. I know. But it was, it was cute. You had a moment. I'm going to hide my gloves every time I come over. They sent me gloves, too. Um, extra blue uh, gloves. Just loose blue gloves. Oh, well, uh, they normally don't. Mm -hmm. Usually they just send the IV circuits. Because I always put on there, like, six pair. They sent those. Okay. <laughs> That's the first time they've ever done that. They've never, because I asked them for a bunch of extra drapes. Because I told them, I was like, the last time y'all sent me something, y'all only sent me one sterile drape. I'm, I get, well, yeah, she need. comes out, like, multiple times a week. I need multiple drapes. My, I have a stack of them over there now. 
So they sent me a whole bunch of sterile drapes. They sent Somebody me, else must have filled the order today. I, I, I think <laughs> it was. Yeah, it was. It was definitely someone else because <laughs> um, I was good on, like, all the saline, the heparin, the um, IV start kits. Or not the IV start kits, the... Extensions? Oh, the tubing? Yeah, this. I can't think of the name. I was good on all of that, but I was out of the extensions. Oh, but okay. I had a stockpile of like this and the ivy bags and all because we haven't been able to really get a vein. Mm -hmm. But I was out of extensions and everything else. And so they ended up, I ended up telling her, I was like, I need like all of this. Like, I need a stock of this. Like, I'm good on everything else, but I need all this like restock. Yeah. And they sent, they sent the lot. Oh, good. So. You know, like just stretch. Okay, now do you want this on now or like, it's sad because that loop right there is, I mean, I'm trying to keep it in. I don't want anything to get yeah snagged once we just go ahead and use the little roll what, what left I'll put anything. the um gauze band on I guess when we get done running it yeah, there's the end I might be able to go ahead and slip it up now that might just pull it up my arm a little bit more and keep it out of the way my uh oh wait a minute there we go she okay. went at her toy she tried, but that was almost bad. Are you happy with your toy now? <laughs> Luckily, this was wrapped already yeah. and didn't pull. She's usually good about it. I mean, it's been a minute, too, since she's been around my tubing. I usually also, I'm not going to lie, I like sit out of the way from her so she can jump up and down without having to worry about like this getting caught up with her. Oh, yeah. Jump down, goes and grabs her ball, comes back and tries to knock everything over. Alright, that doesn't feel tight. I didn't put it on tight. I just yeah, no, that's don't good. want it. Hopefully. And then... I'll put this little sleeve on. Uh, I mean, just go ahead and maybe yeah. do it up like that. I don't think it's affecting the drip. Let's see if it is. No. Still going good. Okay. Yay! So success this time. It was. This was a success. So <laughs> this was a really good, really easy IV set. That <laughs> this is like the, probably the easiest one we've had in like over a month trying to get an IV set because it's been so rough. Um, just my veins haven't been holding, or they've been blowing as soon as we put it in, or we get it in and then like I get through a bag and it's infiltrated and basically not in the vein where it should be anymore and so this one was a really easy one sometimes it's three sticks before we get some and then sometimes we get three sticks and still don't get a vein so today was a good day for it so I hope this helps you guys that were interested in how the IV fluids work how setting it up works and how my veins have been doing with it lately we found a new trick with the heating pad though so I think that's, this is going to be a regular thing. Yeah, that's the first time we've tried the heating pad, and I think that made a big difference. So we're going to keep that up, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.